start off at lessonpost.com log in as username Ali Khan this is the student's name he puts his password in and log in takes him to his home page click on lessons and looks for the current lesson begin lesson play video assalamu alaikum welcome to e tarbia e for electronic and tarbia for character development my name is coach mustakim and i am your tarbia coach it is my job to help you be the best muslims you can be in this class you will study the quran and sunnah in a way you have never studied them before using the technology of the internet and a new computer application called lesson post the idea is to get you connected to the word of Allah and the sayings of our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam it is unacceptable that too many of us are unable to quote in our own language of English the amazing words of wisdom and guidance found in the Quran and Sunnah as Muslims we go to the Quran and Sunnah for our nourishment our food Itarbiya will feed you daily lessons and exercises that can increase your iman and help you apply the teachings of Allah and His beloved Prophet to your everyday life. Okay, now the question is, what does Itarbiya help us do? And the answer is scrambled, so you have to drag it down in the proper order. And what does Itarbiya help us do? It helps us quote Quran and Sunnah. Click next, fill in the blank. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to e -tarbi. Same video, so we don't have to watch it again. So we say the job of the Tarbiya coach is to help you be the best Muslims you can be submit lesson Let's see what he got and he got a hundred Etarbi's goal is to prove again and again that the Quran and Sunnah promote good values to help you be successful in this life and in the hereafter let's dive right into this hadith reported by Imam Bukhari We'll see just how much wisdom is in this one quote of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. The Prophet Muhammad وسلم, said, If the hereafter is about to occur, and in the hands of one of you is a plant that you are about to put in the ground, you must do so as long as you have a chance. Lesson one is going to help you memorize this hadith. Lesson two will help you discover how many good values are packed in this one little quote from our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "If the hereafter is about to occur." Okay, let's unscramble the first part of this hadith. If the hereafter is about to occur okay we got to fill in the blank if the hereafter were about to occur okay and the next part is matching let's match up each half of the line of this hadith if the hereafter is about to occur and in the hands of one of you now let's see if we got it memorized got no audio to help me or nothing let's see if I could write it out if the hereafter is about to occur There are many good values that the Prophet ﷺ is teaching us with this hadith. 
Now, instead of me just telling you what they are, which may just go in one ear and out the other, you can learn what they are by completing the following exercises and using your Dictionary of Good Values. The G program teaches us that good values help us do good deeds. The good values reflected in this hadith clue us into some of the good deeds we should be doing in life. For example, even if something traumatic happens around us, we should stay focused on our current task to complete it. In life, we must plan for the future and carry out the plan. We should always take initiative and with our best effort do a good deed. We must put the plant in the ground to preserve its life, even if we think that life may be short-lived. Since the plant is in your hands, take responsibility for it and plant it. Okay, let's match up the coach's speech here. Next lesson is Arabic values. Now we're going to see at the top our six English good values. Life preservation, best effort, initiative, planning, focus, and responsibility. And we have their Arabic equivalents on the right hand side. And we just match them up to start the memorization process. For this lesson, we really need to use our dictionary of good values because we have to look up the definitions to the six good values we have on the in the table. Then we have to match the Arabic counterpart to the definition. Assalamu alaikum. Congratulations! You have just completed your first week of e tarbiya Since we are commanded in Surah Asr, Tawassal bil Haq, teach each other the truth. We must teach Quran and Sunnah to each other and remind ourselves of it throughout our time on this earth. This is what e tarbiya is all about to help you be able to quote Qur'an and Sunnah to others and to yourself at the appropriate time to encourage the doing of good deeds that can bring forth good results, goodness, higher. You can do it. Bring goodness to the world. Quote Qur'an and Sunnah. Assalamu alaikum. You can use this hadith to help yourself or others in life. Now that you have memorized it, and understand the good values it teaches, the good deeds it promotes, you can quote it when the time comes. Here's what I mean. Let's say your little brother has started cleaning his room, and he says to you, Ah, it's time for bed. I'll just finish tomorrow. You can teach him the value of planning and sticking to the plan. You can say, Hey buddy, stick to the plan. Finish the job while you have a chance. You're almost there. It'll only take a few minutes. You know, the Prophet wasallam said, If the hereafter were about to occur, and in the hands of one of you is a plant that you are about to put in the ground, you must do so as long as you have a chance. You've taken the responsibility to clean your room, so just use your best effort and get it done. Put the plant in the ground, man. Okay, which of the following videos is the best opportunity to quote the Hadith? Omar's teacher said to him, Class, listen up. In order to complete your term paper on time, you must now pick a topic, do your research, do an outline, then start writing your paper. Later on that day, Omar said to his classmate, Hey, did you see what Ms. Saeed was saying? Why should I go through all that stuff? When I get ready to write my paper, I'll just sit down and write it. Hmm. Let's check this one. You know, Tony's my best friend, but my dad doesn't like him too much. He said it's because one time he said hi to him, and Tony just looked the other way. Hmm, I think I'll go with the first one. Hey bro, don't you know about planning? You gotta plan things out, step by step. Then you can accomplish your task. And the Prophet Wasallam stressed planning. There's a hadith where he says, If the day of judgment were to occur, and in the hands of one of you was a plant, 
that you are about to put in the ground. You must do so as long as you have the chance. Okay, did Ahmed do a good job responding to Omar? Yes. Good job, Ahmed. You quoted the Hadith. 